good morning everyone we are ready to leave thank you guys for tuning in today we are leaving Henderson Texas right now That truck is leaking oil like crazy. Holy smokes. <laughs> oh well. I had all my oil leaks fixed there the other day, so pretty much anyways. <laughs> I don't think I have any oil leaks. I checked my oil this morning and He was still, uh, not maximum, but uh, it was exactly between maximum and half. And uh, I'm getting my oil changed once I get back to town. My mechanic will change the oil for me. Yep. Well, here we go. Looks like another gorgeous day up here in Texas, that's for sure. And we had some fun with the contest there with winning the hat, so that is officially over now. We announced yesterday evening who the winner was, and uh, congratulations there to Brian Harper. He's the winner gotten in touch with me already he sent me his address and uh, he also said he would like to have it signed so we will do that yeah and uh, some of you guys want to know why my wife chose 525 just remember my birthday was on uh, May 25th so that represents the 525 month 20 my, uh, month 5 day 25 so that's a very important day to us because that's our anniversary and it is uh, also my birthday and it's our anniversary for getting married yes we got married on the same day as my birthday is so that's a uh, very important day for us so Anyways, we're going to cruise along here and see what the day will bring us today. It uh, looks like it's going to be a good day. Although I'm a little worried about my APU unit. I think I'm going to have to get it serviced because uh, it's... Uh, Starting to act up there last night, it uh, all of a sudden shut itself off and uh, reset the computer and uh, started it up again. It ran, it ran until the air conditioning wanted to go on and then it would shut itself off again. So then I just left it off for a while and I started my truck finished editing that uh, winning contest video there and uh, and then I reset the computer again and retried it and then it worked and it ran all night I never woke up so that, that it was hot inside or anything like that so but it is due for a service I know that I uh, I changed the oil uh, eh, just in about towards winter there I don't remember exactly what month but it is due for an oil change, that's for sure. I do it usually every six months. I know some other drivers wait longer than that, but I do it every six months. And I think it's due, especially for the uh, for the air filter. Like, uh, I, uh, I know the uh, Thermo King has a little bit of a problem with, because they build everything so tight, the way the exhaust comes out of the motor, they can't, uh, make it 100% sealed in there and so it's always leaking a little bit of exhaust inside the box where the APU unit is and then uh, the uh, air filter gets black really quick it doesn't take very long so I should make a habit of changing it every three months and I haven't done that yet <laughs> But now I'm going 
going to get it to service, that's for sure, because, uh, like I said, I was acting up there last night, and then I know for sure it's time for service. Uh, you can bet your money on that. I can almost guarantee you, because it's having a hard time running right now, I think it's having a hard time getting air into the motor. That's probably why it, it didn't have enough power, probably, to kick in the AC. So what I did is it's got a little throttle on on the uh, outside there, not not on the outside, but you know when I open the lid, it's got a little throttle right in there. So I throttled it up a little bit, and uh, when the air conditioning kicked in, it, it stayed running. So I'm thinking that's what it was. It was probably starving on power a little bit. It uh, didn't have enough power to kick in the air conditioning. So uh, that's always interesting. <laughs> Pick up there, he looks like he's got 12 inch tires in the back there. <laughs> he must have some juice behind the, underneath the hood, you know? Anyways, the time is racking up over here, so we'll be back in a little bit. Alrighty guys, we had ourselves a little bit of a pit stop up here in a rest area on Highway 271 on the Indian Nation Turnpike. Yeah, now we're going to go back on the road and get some miles behind us. Yeah. It is hot out here, that's for sure. That's one thing that's for sure, though. When you go down here south in Oklahoma or Texas or anything like that in summer, it is darn to be hot. Oh yeah. But that's the way it is. Anyways, now we're gonna put the hammer down and see how far we can make her tonight. Alrighty guys, our day is over. I know today has been a bit of a different day for me. It's been of a weird day for me today. I've been not driving a whole lot today i don't know why but uh it was just different today we had some other stuff going on in the uh, jailbreak community so there was some exciting news there but uh it kind of turned into a little bit of a challenge for me figuring out how to jailbreak my uh, phone and all that stuff but i know most of you guys are probably thinking what the heck is he talking about uh, you guys probably most of you guys that are watching me uh, as a trucker channel probably have no idea what it is but anyways it's a uh, basically a hacking tool that uh, a lot of guys use and uh, to uh, customize their phones and stuff like that for the iPhones but anyways uh, so I was kind of busy with that doing that stuff so didn't do a lot of trucking videoing today I guess but oh well we'll get back to it tomorrow I hope so uh, we are ready to go to bed here pretty soon so we figure we close the show and uh, wish everybody have a good day today I certainly did have a pretty good day it's been pretty hot but other than that we're pretty good so thank you guys for watching and be sure to stay tuned for tomorrow and we'll see you then have a good one bye it's time to get going it's time to move on put this behind me that day is gonna come